Hey everybody, Patty Ann here. I have got a terrific, terrific website I'm going to show you about today. It's going to allow you to make designs like this for your print and cut, whether it be for cardstock or for printable vinyl, anything like that, stickers, that kind of thing. So check this out. It's going to work both in Silhouette and in Cricut, and I'm going to show you how to do it in both programs. So let's go to the website first. Okay, this is the website here. It's spacefem.com slash scrapbook. So you'll go there and you'll end up on a page. The first page you'll come to looks like this. So what you're going to do is just go ahead and click on any color you're thinking that you might like. And you can make um, your own scrapbook pages just like this. So let's say I'm going to use this color right here. I'm just going to click on this. And I get all of these different um, designs that I can use. So let's say I really want to make a background with the color that with one that looks like this. Okay, it shows me it in this color that I've chosen, and then it shows me what it would look like in all the different colors. If I want to see what it's going to look like larger, I can click on this button that says Create Tiled Image just like that. It's going to show me what it's going to look like. And this would be a print and cut, as I said. So let's get rid of this one and go back. And maybe I'm going to make it bigger. I can make it 12 by 12 inches and create a tiled image. And there's what it will look like as a 12 by 12. So again, let's get rid of that. Make it a different color. And then there are all these different shapes that you can make as well, which, which are really, really pretty. So let's do this as a tiled image once. There you go. And let's get rid of this one. And let's try one more. Let's go back to the home page and choose a different color. How about this gray color? And maybe you like um, hearts or chevrons or the Florida de lis that I had done before. Let's just go with this one. So I'm going to create a tiled image. Then all I'm going to do on this is I'm going to right click and say Save Image As. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to save it as a gray tile. And it's going to save as a PNG image. And I'll just say save. All right. Now to use that in Silhouette first, I'll show you. All you need to do is this. You're going to come up here to File. Let me get rid of these two that I've done so it's not as confusing looking in this. Okay. So I'm going to come up here to File going to come over here to library and import to library. Now there are several ways to do this. There is an e even easier way, but this way may be really memorable for you. So you just go to file, library, and import to library. Click on that. Then you scroll down and find the thing that you just downloaded, the gray tile. Click on that to open it. And it's in my library now. This is what my library looks like for Silhouette. I love it because you can change things, you can add um, folders over here so you can really organize your things. But right now, the one that's highlighted over here is the gray tile that I just got. So I'm just going to drag it over here and put it into my patterns folder. There's the patterns folder. And these are all the patterns I have in there so far. I was really having fun getting the buffalo plaids earlier. So I'm just going to go back to my design page. And I'll just, just get a square just so I can show you quickly. I'm just going to draw out a square like this, kind of a rectangle. And I'm going to come over here to this paint palette. Come to this part because this says fill pattern. Click on that. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill it with my new gray floor de -lis. So again, as always, I can change the scale of them, make them very big make them small so a whole ton of them fit in there. That's really cute, cool, just like that. Okay, for Cricut Design Space, let's go over there now. Here are a few that I have done. So let me get rid of these first and show you how to upload these patterns uh, to Cricut Design Space. So you just go to Upload. And usually we go to Upload an Image. For this, we're going to go to Pattern Fill. Okay. I'm going to upload a pattern. I'm going to browse for it. Once again, I'm going to find that same pattern, the gray tile. Say open. 
and there it is, then I can fill in all kind of words over here that will uh, help me to find it later if I need to, and also the colors if I want. Say save. And now it doesn't look like it's been saved anywhere, but you'll notice up, well, you can't see it, but at the top it says pattern upload successful. So let's go to new. And I'm going to make a shape. I'll just make this hexagon. Whoops. And I'll make it larger. And now I'm going to fill it with that pattern. So I come up here to the top where there's the line type and where it says fill, it says no fill right now. I'm going to change that to print and I'm going to change this to not to color, but I want a pattern. There's the pattern I just uploaded. Okay, I'm going to go to new, replace upload and I've already done this so my patterns already been uploaded so I'm just going to come back to my canvas bring in a shape I'm going to fill it and I'm going to fill it with a pattern Oh, I know what's wrong. I have to close this out and then open it back up again for it to work. So let me close this or just open a new one of Cricut Design Space. So file, new window, new project. So if I bring in, let me make this larger for you. If I bring in a shape, it should work now. The reason being is I had to reopen it. So now I'm going to fill it with a print, change the print to a pattern, and change the pattern to this, and now it worked perfectly. So that's something to remember. If you're not seeing yours, you may have to close your program and then reopen it so that your um, newly installed pattern will show up. And again, just like before, we can go like this. Uh, we can edit the pattern. You can make it larger or smaller. Add more to it. And there are different things that you can do. But anyway, I think that's a really fabulous new um, print and cut area that we found where we can make our own patterns for our print and cuts. And I just think it's really, really fun. I hope you have a fun time with it too. Thanks for joining me. See you all again soon. Bye-bye.